Hey guys, Filmington here. On my video yesterday that I showed off, I picked up five different hobby boxes online, and this is one of them, 2001 Top Series 2. Of course, it's got the Ichiro in it. I plan on breaking this eventually, but if you know a lot about this product like I do, you know that the cards are prone to stick together. This year, the cards featured a front and back glossy surface, which um, over time, um, 15, almost 20 years, the cards tend to definitely stick together. And once you try to pull them apart in a lot of cases, Silver Jack, if I had um, opened up a pack of this recently, you'll see that um, many of the cards were damaged on both surfaces when you tried to pull them apart. So I wanted to first um, show you and confirm that the packs are indeed sticky by opening up one pack the regular way. And then I'm going to try some new methods that I heard about from people that posted on that previous video, specifically Bapino Man, Blue Jacket 66, and Hitman 23 gave me some tips um, for getting these cards to separate naturally. Um, so we'll see uh, how we do there, but first I'm gonna open up one pack of these just to make sure that they are indeed the sticky variety. And the seller did warn me that they probably would stick. He actually put it in his uh, description and then shot me a, an email after I purchased the item just to confirm that I knew about it because I guess he had an angry buyer that was like, why are the cards sticking together? I want my money back. So, All right, so here's pack one. Hopefully the Ichiro is not in this one. There are 36 packs. Each pack costs me roughly over a dollar once you do the math, so I'm not overly concerned with ruining one of these packs to help support my experiment, the before and after. Come on. And there's also a very low probability that each row is in this one. All right, so we got a meaningless card. And yes, you see the sticking. You see the, the destroyed surface here. That's really bad on both sides. Let's just pray that each row is not in this. You see it right down here. Um, All right, so some of these cards aren't getting messed up as badly, but it's just not worth the risk. Jeff Bagwell, sorry, buddy. Jim Edmonds, Alex Ochoa, and Ishiro, just kidding. Ah, uh, Bill Seamus. Okay, so of these cards, let's see the ones that are damaged, and I can see it better than you can, and I don't have the best you know, understanding of the PSA grading system, but I do have a pretty good understanding, especially for modern cards. So I'm gonna let you know what I think these grades would come back as. Um, no better than a four, no better than a four, no better than a six, no better than a five, no better than a five. I'm guessing no better than a, no better than a six, no better than a four, no better than a four, no better than a four, no better than a four. So, all right, so those cards were definitely all damaged. None of them were even PSA eight or nine mint caliber, I thought. So let's uh, let's try out a few different experiments. I'm gonna stop the camera and then I'm gonna go back and do little mini videos of each of my experiments. Right. We have one pack in a Ziploc sealed bag and it's going in the freezer for one day. And we have a second unopened pack in another sealed Ziploc bag. And this one's going in the fridge for one day, right on top of the ham. We have a sealed pack going into a cup of water. Go Patriots. And I'm using distilled water and I'm going to fill it. And I'm going to let this sit for one day. I have a sealed pack that I'm going to be putting into a cigar humidor set to roughly 68 to 70 on the relative humidity scale. And I'll put this here for one day. And I will take a 
half open pack and I will put it into the same humidor set to 68 to 70 relative humidity for one day. And I will take one pack and I will submerge it into Teddy's unsalted all natural peanut butter and leave it there for one day. Just kidding. Hey guys, Filmington's back. It's 24 hours later. We have all five packs in front of us. Um, chronologically, starting with the first that I put in the freezer, um, sealed in a Ziploc bag. The second one that I put in uh, the fridge, sealed in a Ziploc bag. The third pack that I submerged in distilled water that I put in loose but sealed. And the last two packs that I put in a humidor that was set at 68 to 70% relative humidity. First of which that I kept in sealed and the second pack that I put in opened. So we're going to see if this worked. Um, I don't expect this to be a, uh, a one-time deal. This might take um, maybe secondary experiments. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we have from our first go around. So starting with a pack that was taken from the freezer. And this was the suggestion that came up most frequently amongst my YouTubers that commented on the first video. All right, so we have Jeremy Giambi. It's starting to, eh, it's a little, maybe a little bit better, but still the card is, um, the cards are getting destroyed once I'm um, pulling them apart. So maybe we'll try for the secondary experiments um, keeping the cards in the freezer for a little bit longer, and maybe we'll even try one that's out of the um, Ziploc bag. Okay, so these cards are all going to be ruined. Um, you know what, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Don't want to cause any more damage if I don't need to. Maybe there's a chance I can salvage some of those cards. Okay, so here's a second pack from the fridge. Again, these are all kept at 24 hours. You know what, if the freezer didn't work, I can tell this one didn't work either. The cards are still stuck, so I'm not gonna mess with these. The This is probably the dumbest, um, this is my idea. Um, putting the car submerged in water, not in any sort of Ziploc bag, because I can tell that the water is inside the pack. And we're going to have waterlogged cards. They might be able to separate, but they're probably destroyed. So these are very soggy and... And they're, uh, Barry Bonds is destroyed there. So, um, unfortunately... You can see how they separated in the water because they had been, I guess, congealed for so long or solid, um, stuck together for so long that um, the surface of the car the card was already destroyed once these things pulled apart, even if it was somewhat naturally from the effect of the water. So uh, let's make sure we don't have an Ichiro in this one. Is that Ichiro? So I don't know if I'll be able to salvage any of these, but I'm not going to give up yet. All right. So not a whole lot there, thankfully. And then the humidor sealed pack. Don't really have a good feeling about this one, but we'll we'll see. All 
All right. Give it a little tug. Yeah, so that did not work. Oh, shit. And there's my boy Ichiro. <sighs> Figures. Okay. And then we have the humidor pack, open number five. So this was in the humidor and it was, for the most part, opened, exposed to the, the water. So there is a risk, of course, of condensation. Once you do that, a higher risk. And these cards are coming off a little bit better, but um, so this is probably my, my biggest success yet. Well, maybe spoke a little too soon, but oh god. I'm just guessing I won't get another Etro. Not right away. But yeah, these cards are uh, not too great. So maybe I'll try um, a few different experiments. Maybe I'll try one submerged in water, but in a Ziploc bag. Um, maybe I'll put one in the humidor for a little bit longer. Keep it there for multiple days um, with the open pack. And, um, and then I'll probably do one in the freezer. And I'll keep it there for about a week and see if I have any luck there in a uh, Ziploc bag. All right, so... Uh, not a success, certainly not a success, um, yet, and where's my Ichiro? I don't know where it is, but I, um, uh, a little frustrated, but we'll see what we can do with the next go around. I'll probably post the video as is, and I'll leave an update if I have any success with any new methods. All right. Thanks guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Take care.